gentleman yields back. I now recognize um, the gentleman from California, Mr. Peters, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I've been listening for a while, and you know, it's it strikes me um, as the one thing we've learned from the uh, debt ceiling discussion is that the debt ceiling is not the answer. Whatever the problem is, the debts, the existence of the debt ceiling is not keeping us from being thirty trillion dollars in debt. And the reason is because it's the, the real analogy. It's not some warning light. It's the credit card bill. You've already you've already spent that money. You, your family, your spouse, your kids. They already rang up that, that account. And the only responsible thing to do is to pay the bill. And by the time you get to the bill, it's too late to talk about the spending. Let's face facts that the, the, the debt ceiling has become a political cudgel rather than some sort of useful um, policy tool. So those of us who are, are um, worried about debt and deficit shouldn't just talk about whether this is good or bad. It's clearly not doing the job. Let's talk about something new. And um, I think a lot of my, my good colleagues on the Democratic side support repealing the debt, the debt ceiling uh, limit altogether. And I think there's good reason for that because it is an artificial tool. Uh, it carries too much risk to be used for political games. But um, I don't think one of my Republican uh, colleagues just thinks we can get rid of it. So last year, I just wanna let you know, I teamed up with Congressman Jody Arrington and the Bipartisan Policy Center to craft and introduce the Responsible Budgeting Act. So this bill would, would eliminate the danger of debt limit brinksmanship and offers Congress two ways to actually deal with the national debt. First, we would pass a budget resolution that satisfies specific debt reduction measures while simultaneously passing a joint resolution that the president can sign to, to suspend the debt limit in the next, until the next fiscal year. And then if Congress fails to pass that concurrent budget resolution, the second option allows the president to suspend the debt ceiling him or herself which Congress could vote to override. And with the suspension, the president's obligated to send a debt reduction proposal to the Hill. Uh, Congress would have to consider that proposal or come up with something of its own. It's a little bit complex, but it's a heck of a lot better than pointing fingers at each other and, and dodging the bullet every, um, every year or two. So um, Dr. Blessing, you noted that while the debt ceiling debate may bring attention to fiscal issues, it carries too much risk to be considered a useful tool do you think a reform like the one I described could move the ball forward in having a more productive conversation about controlling federal debt? Very important question. Um, I mean, my testimony has emphasized both the benefits and limitations of procedural reform like this. Um, having the president be allowed to um, you know, uh, suspend the debt ceiling with Congress being able to then disapprove of it and you've paired it with additional things, uh, but that's sort of a mechanism uh, would absolutely be safer than the status quo. The safest possible thing, of course, is to to remove it from the field of right. political contestation right. altogether. Right. Dr. Shainer, do you, you agree that breaching the debt limit would affect the standing and competitiveness of the United States and the global economy, right? Definitely. Um, I don't know if you think something like our proposal, which would eliminate the hostage taking um, and reduce the risk of default. I mean, I, I think probably there's a there's an appetite for getting rid of all together but failing that is that the kind of thing we should be looking for yeah definitely so i agree with dr blessing getting rid of it would be great but if what you need to do is get rid of the uncertainty right you need to basically take it off the table as a possibility and so whatever procedural reforms could get you there that could actually pass you know would be a step in the right direction well i i just say i think that um uh both parties uh have have, have been um uh, responsible for adding to the debt, I think for good reasons and, and other reasons. Um, it would be great if this committee, the members of this committee could come together. If you're really concerned about re reducing the deficit, uh, force, forcing us to make those tough decisions uh, through a bill like the one we proposed. Um, Mr. Chairman, I support uh, eliminating the debt ceiling in the event that that doesn't happen. I think we need to reform it, but I don't wanna pretend that this, this is somehow the answer to any problem to any question that we face. Uh, this is not the tough, this is not the tough decision-making we say we wanna be called on to make. Um, and uh, I, I thank you for having this hearing and I yield back. 